Okay, just getting a ram away off in our final fight here at the Scion Warriors Super Fights in the presence of greatness. And here we are, greatness again, with Nico Carrillo and Saxon. Seamus Cogan, you've done a bit of homework on these fighters. Yeah, the stats are amazing. Frightening. Two 2011, Roger Denham, Fighter of the Year. 2012, Roger Denham, Fight of the Year. 2015, Fight of the Year. 2019, fight of the year. 2020, fight of the year. If this guy doesn't raise the dial, just forget about it. Former Omni Stadium champion, Channel 7 champion. He's one of the most exciting fighters of the last 20 years. And he's in Cork. And he's here. And he's got a big ask on his hands tonight. Nico Gorilla is here to fight, I'd say. Is he what? Nico is... He is the current UK number one. He is an ICO European champion, WBC European champion, ISKA Intercontinental and World Champion. So he's no slouch either. Absolutely. I look and at sex in there, but there's he fought Tan and Chai four times, four times as I saw. And each one of them I could probably describe as my favourite fight I've ever seen. They were just yeah. incredible. You know, the car crow could just being for an amazing treat tonight if this fight takes hold. They know. They know what they'd expect after the calibre of fighters who's been here before. Absolutely. And after Ryan Sheen's massive win, no one has left. Everybody knows what they're getting, you know. Jam packed here at Neptune Stadium. Seamus, fun fact about Nico. Won a Scottish junior title after only three months training. That just goes to show you can't do that unless you are an incredible athlete. Yeah, you're talking about a special generational talent, aren't you? Amazing. You know, but he's got his work cut out from here tonight. What a way to close the show. Amazing. So folks, once we kick the show off, the fight off, our main man in the ring is Mr. Daz Morris, our judges are Mr. Jesse Summers, Mr. Walter Scott, and Mr. Derek O'Flynn, who will be keeping the score. What a mark of respect for Nico. He knows, I spoke to him earlier today, and he said it's current legend, versus upcoming legend. So he knows he belongs in here. He wants to be in here. It's not broken. Nico opening up very strong, Seamus. Yeah, and already you can see that classic Thai calmness and sexy. There's nothing he hasn't seen before. Absolutely not. Nico 
recuperating draw. Kepner's got the shot in early. Kepner's respect. Yeah, as Ryan showed earlier, you, you, you just can't afford to give the ties too much respect. You have to give them a lot of respect, but you can't afford to let the fight get away from you. Yeah. And Nico's got to get on the front foot and hopefully, like his youth and his speed. And he's a mountain of a man at that weight, isn't he? It's very strong, very solid. Even for a legendary stadium fighter, Sexton is known to be particularly tough. Yeah, yeah, and he's setting he's setting a good pace early. Commanding the centre of the ring. Solid right hand as well. This hasn't started like a regular fight Taylor Chambers where they have to look at each other. These boys have went straight out of the bell. I think he, Nico knows that. He, kn he knows he can't afford to play points with Sexton. He needs to come forward and make his mark in that fight. Sexton has never been anyone's idea of a defensive master. He will take a shot, but he'll get his own shots off. Uh, there's a whip of on the bottom too. Yeah, yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Ultra cool, to be under that much pressure. Just smile, totally relaxed. Head over the round. He's doing it very, very well there. Sexton, ultra cool as we expect. Round number two. Both fighters opening up with good leg kicks. Yeah, I think you're seeing that clash between that European style. Nico's come at it from the bell. Sexton's just taking the first couple of rounds just to have a look. Again, can only imagine the amount of fights Saxon's after. Nico using his boxing, finding his range with the jab. Nice long guard. He's working that leg quite well, Seamus. Yeah, and he's moving Sexton with the leg kick, which is a surprise to me, to be honest. Sexton has eaten maybe five or six of those. Nico's big, powerful man. And maybe he's going after the leg. Yeah, it's sensible against a puncher. Like, take his legs away early. and. You're going to diminish the return on his punches. That's very clever. Very oh, clever. He spun him into an elbow. Really good footwork. And you need to be so confident in the top of your game to pull something like that off against a fighter of the quality and ability of Saxon. Really looking really sharp here. Saxon's tried that jab to the body three or four times and I just would worry that he's going to get counter elbowed. And that, le that leg slightly buckled, Seamus. We hit that leg kick there. That's a full-blooded shot. Both guys jostling for position in the clinch. Good, solid knees from Saxon. Creel looking for a, a knee to the head straight up the middle. That's interesting. Creel has established dominance in the clinch. Bigger man too, pushing him back. He's walking away, he's walking around to the side in the clinch. Good he's job by your referee, Daz Morris, letting it flow while the work is going on. I just wonder if Creel will go back after that leg once or twice.
Saxon just smiling, playing the game. Looking for Jumperney, but coming up short. Just huge intensity in these punches right in front of us here, Seamus. Yeah, Carrillo's not pacing this. He's going for the... He's going for early dominance. He's putting everything into his shot. Saxon with a catch in the teep and a looping hand over the top. No one quite home. Referee Daz Morris just breaking him up. Round number two in the bag. Nico Crillo, very good round for him again, Seamus. Round number three, just about to get, just about to get underway. Carrillo's finding his range in that jab, Seamus, really, really well. Yeah, I think Sexton needs to get going in this. And I know I'm right because Boko Banchimek thinks it as well and went into the corner and absolutely gave it to Sexton and said, come on, it's time to get going. Yeah, he's got a dog in this fight now. Slight touch of the cup there, but both fighters, professionals, getting on with it. Big body shot, caught well by Carrillo, and a chopping elbow that might have hurt. Saxon. Criller's size dominance in the clinch is it's a big factor in this fight. You know, Saxon just can't get anything going in the clinch. There is a noticeable size difference. And an athlete to si the ability of Carrillo too. Uh, ah, he's looked a really top level fighter. Brim him with confidence. Saxon had a big right elbow over the top. Smiles back at Carrillo. Saxon went for a wild kick there, throwing everything into the shot. Long guard from Saxon. And Looking that's what that. Sexton needs. He needs to make it into a war. He needs to make it into that stadium type battle that he's so known for. But the quality of Carrillo's work is incredible in this fight. Like. Really slick, really, really slick. But like you said, Saxon now starting to add a bit of power on. Upping the pace. Nah, this is what we want from Sexton. <laughs> Carrillo just too quick in his feet, not getting caught. Jab elbow over the top, Saxon. Acknowledges it with a smile. Big body kick from Saxon. Carrillo now breathing a little heavy for the first time. And, and there's a fluidity after creeping into Saxon's work. He's popping out that right kick. There you go. That's a score. That's a score. Big one as well that he wasn't taking off his feet. This is turning into a barnstormer, Seamus Cogan. This is exactly what I expected from Saxon. I knew he wasn't going to let Carrillo oh, have all his right own right hand over the top. Carrillo tries to answer back. The water just got a little bit deeper. Carrillo going back after the leg. Two in a row. Three. Saxon has abandoned all pretense of defence. He's just walking forward and getting his shots up. And that is heartbreaking when you have a guy coming at you solid. That Great a round, fantastic, fantastic round. Saxon really up to the gear there, making it super entertaining for four and five. <laughs> round four, here we are in our final fight in Siam Warriors Super Fights in the presence of greatness and Seamus we truly are in the presence of greatness here tonight Sexton's up to pace he knows what the fourth round means and he knows he's probably blown the first couple of rounds so he's coming for it great work by Carrillo put yeah. back quality of his kicks of this fight have really impressed me really good good defence there taking the shot in the elbows you don't become UK number one quite easy, Seamus. He's, he's a quality, quality operator. Yeah, for a young fighter, like, in a fight at this level, he's extremely calm. He's picking his shots. He's not getting too excited. Big, but he's in a fight now. Big swooping overhand right. 
Big shout out to all our fans in Scotland too that are joining us live on the pay-per-view. Hope you're enjoying as much as we are here. Your man is doing your country proud. Sticks and standing right in the pocket, getting his shots off. I think Paul Cole giving out to him in the corner again has really. Oh, if that can motivate you. Lit a fire underneath him. But this is Sexton's type of fight, it's shot for shot, you know. They were doing really, really good. Playing to the crowd now as well. The Carrillo's defensively sound, you know, he's blocking a lot of shots. Slight slip, wet canvas maybe. Good job by Carrillo. Yeah, that's impressive, he's doubling up. Sexton's landing one, he's coming back with two, and then he's taking him off his feet. That's really impressive. That's how you dominate a fourth round. Good body kick by Saxon. Grillo keeping him up. And a trip. Not sure if that one was legal, but we're going to go with it. Big overhand right from Carrillo. Slumming right hand. It's just gone 4 a.m. in the morning in Bangkok. To all our Thai viewers, hope you're really enjoying this one. Big body kick. Really looking for that short elbow in the corner. Went for a body shot too. Yeah, he's weathered the storm and he's coming back with quality work of his own. Saxon's not letting him away with much. Nice reddening in uh, Nico Crillo's body on the left-hand side. He's caught most of those kicks, but he still took some punishment. Big round, big, big round. Big, big round. Both fighters' hands in the air, all to play for going into round number five. Use your beard. Use your beard. <laughs> Fifth and final round of our Siam Warriors Super Fights here. Nico Crillo versus Saxon. It's been amazing so far. Seamus Cogan all to play for going into the last round. Yeah, absolutely. I think Nico Carrillo has really made a statement here tonight. He's really impressed me with his shot selection and the quality of his work. He's in with a legend and he's fighting like a legend. Very, very true. He's really, really raised his stock here again against an absolute legend in Saxon. And he never looked uncomfortable, Seamus. No, he hasn't. And yet, Saxon is there in his face looking to win this fight. That right kick he throws is so fast. And there it is. And again. Yeah, great trigger time. That's that stadium experience, you know. He's not getting excited. He's just looking to win the fight, pick his shots. Uh, most developing under the right eye of Saxon. And an elbow there, taking round four. Great strength by Carrillo to stay up. And return by Saxon to stay up as well. The right in front of us here. Fantastic action. Sexton has really up the work written for him, five. And the quality of his work, Seamus. One and two, maybe he was having a look. Look at the Carrillo still very strong in the clinch. Good work, Daz, good work. Referee Daz Morris breaking the clinch here. Earning his money tonight. And now we're looking for that right kick of Sexton because he knows that's where the money is, that's where the scores are. That's it, and if he can double it up. Carrillo inside leg. Heavy, heavy kick. There you go. That's that right kick. kick. It's like a shadow of a gun, Seamus. Head kick. And it doesn't fail Sexton. He'll take that shot just to get that right kick off because that's so where the scores are in this fight. And answers back with a big kick. Saxon raising the arm in the air, believing he's done enough to win. Carrillo, no doubt, thinks the same. Big score there. Huge right kick from Carrillo. Saxon's taking a look, and he's gearing up. Huge respect there between these two fighters. Great to see. Again, Seamus, we commented on earlier, the matchmaking has been incredible tonight. Yeah, it's a superb match. We're going Thai style here. Both guys think they want a big body kick. Carrillo turns him. Good evasion by Saxon. 
And again. Saxon may be winding down the clock here. Thinks he's done enough. Carrillo thinks he's done enough. What way have you got it at home? If that doesn't show confidence, ladies and gentlemen, a moonwalk in the center of the ring versus a Thai legend. We just leave that there. We got everything. We got a great fight. We got a moonwalk. Absolutely brilliant. All we're short is the fan man. Ladies and gents, this one goes down to the judges' scorecards. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's a wrap for our Cyan Warriors Super Fights Night. We hope you've enjoyed it as much as we have. Massive win on the judges' scorecards for Nico Crillo. Seamus Cogan tonight, not only have we crowned a new Silver Series champion in Kean Johnson, we have a new Irish light cruiserweight champion in Kieran Shanahan. We have now two-time world champion Ryan Sheehan, who put on a masterclass in a barn burner against Jamrod. And now Dylan Maher also took away the Irish title for super middleweight, 78 kgs. And Nico Krilla versus Saxon was just amazing. Outstanding. I think we're seeing the emergence of some serious young talent here with Nico Krilla and Ryan Sheehan both stepping up tonight. It's been an incredible event. I'm going to wrap up now and try and get my picture taken with Boko before I... I <laughs> reckon you have to join the queue. So <laughs> big thanks to Martin Horgan and the promotion Cyan Warriors, our friends of Fight Store Media as well and everybody that bought the pay-per-view. Hope you enjoyed it as much as we have, and we look forward to seeing you next time.